again guys, it's Stacy. I'm here with some updates and some information about a meetup this weekend. I would like to do Friday and or Saturday um, doing the disco party, uh, so I'd like to meet up with you guys in the evening if that's possible for you. Again, I'm on the Windstar server, so unfortunately I can't meet everybody, but hopefully it'll be a bunch of new people. It'll be fun. Um, maybe you guys can arrange your own meetups on your servers kind of at the same time, and I know I won't be there, but <laughs> it's still fun. <laughs> I can't wait to try out the disco and meet everybody. Um, yeah, another thing I wanted to point out was that I'm standing near this mailbox here. Hello, ladies. Because I have a lot of mail, and one of the things I would like Star Stable to do is mark off if I've responded because I've kind of lost track who I've responded to and who I haven't responded to. So if I haven't responded to you, I'm very, very sorry. I have just completely lost track of who I've answered and who I haven't. Because the one thing about Star Stable is a lot of the names are similar. So <laughs> between YouTube and Facebook and the game, a lot of the names are similar, and I've made lists. I have lists I can show you of like people's names and stuff on my little notebook that I'm trying to keep track of, but there's a lot of people. That's why I'm hoping this meetup will help. I've also added a bunch of people as friends um, as well. I, I must have close to 50 friends now. Maybe not quite. It's still a lot of people. So I'm trying to keep track of everyone, but and I wanted to apologize if it, you think I'm ignoring you or something. I'm not. I just wish I could remember who I've responded to in the little mail. But I'm very forgetful, so <laughs> I'm very sorry. I do feel bad. I might end up just responding to everybody again. So if you get another message from me, don't be surprised. I just want to make sure that I've gotten everybody. Um, another thing is I wish they would in addition to showing us who we've responded to, if they would make some sort of note when someone on your friends list has messaged you, because a lot of times I don't have the chat open and I'm running around and playing, and then I'll finally look and people have messaged me and I don't know how long ago it was or anything like that and I feel really bad. I just didn't see it most of the time, or sometimes I'm doing multiple things while I have the game up to feed my horses, or sometimes I'm not even at the computer. And if they had a little notice come up that said, you have, like, a message, that would be very, very helpful. <laughs> um, also, they have extended Valentine's Day quests. Yay! Because I didn't think I could do most of them, which I still can't do the Catherine quests. I guess I haven't done the prerequisite quests or something. I don't know, but she doesn't have any quests for me. But I didn't think I could do any of them. So, I wasn't able to really get on and I didn't worry about it and then Monday I got on and tried to rush through the Donald quest. I didn't even record it because I was just trying to get it done before they expired on Tuesday or I guess Wednesday. I guess they were still going on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, so I ended up rushing through. I got the little boat, bow ties for the horse and the little teddy bear and then they extended it for a week. So I was like, oh, I rushed through it for nothing. I could have maybe recorded it. But yeah, I got, I ended up buying some, um, Valentine's stuff. I'm kind of bummed. I really wanted the reins and the saddle, and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get them. Because they're through Catherine. Um, I got that shirt, and, oh, that one we knew about. This little dressy shirt thing, because I thought it would match all the gear that I was hoping to get. This lovely sweater. Oh, and the saddle pad, which is on right now. And the shirt she, she's wearing. I got that too. I love seeing all the 101 Dalmatians. That's what I call it. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is. But it's 101 Dalmatians gear. Like it's on the horse back here. On Lily Fast Hall's horse. Um, it just reminds me of 101 Dalmatians. It's black, red, and like speckled white. Um, I didn't buy any of that. But I really like how it looks on different horses. I've seen it on white and gray. And it looks really good. So, I didn't think this was going to be a long video. There, we can see all the goings-on back there. 
I just wanted to give you guys an update, especially about this weekend, doing a meetup. Um, I believe it starts at 7? The disco party? Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. I kind of forget right now. Maybe I'll go check while I'm, while I'm on. <laughs> when it runs. Um, I'm hoping to do Friday and Saturday so that I can, everyone has kind of a chance and I can get some footage because I'm definitely going to be filming us discoing. <laughs> I thought it would be fun. I really like how the bows look on this horse over here. They look adorable. Oh, and she has the blue that I want. Delilah. See, Delilah Diamondfield. Today, I'm going to be featuring a um, YouTube channel. I might as well talk about it now. From, I'm going to show her name on here so you guys can see it. Delilah Diamond Right. She was one of the first people that I met on Star Stable, so I thought it would be nice to showcase her YouTube channel first. I'm hoping to do a new person each episode. And she just started doing her YouTube videos, so I'd like to um, get some focus on her and hopefully she'll make some more. That would be fun. And I think Derek has some quests now, and supposedly you can buy the teddy bears. I wonder if that's at the Valentine's stall. I also wanted to thank you guys for checking out my Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic video. I know a lot of you are just on for Star Sable, that's fine. Um, but it's really nice to see some of you checking out some other games. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic is one of the best Star Wars games that was ever made. And I am a huge Star Wars fan, um, so that's pretty. It was pretty exciting to have it come to Steam in the humble bundle. Oh, there are teddy bears! Oh. Turn around. Whoosh. Oh man, a blue one. Nineteen star, twenty-nine star coins. <gasps> 249 star coins? I feel like that's a typo. 99? Are these typos? 249 for a white teddy bear. You guys, don't buy the white teddy bear. I'm buying a blue one though. If it's blue, I must have it. I kind of want the red one too. Let's do it. But, I'm not getting this 200 and... Ugh. I feel okay spending the star coins on those cheapo ones. Cheapo. Uh, the cheaper ones. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, because they gave us those 200 star coins for our Valentine's. And I'd also like to thank for putting up with some of the glitches that I've experienced lately, such as logging my game off and the guy who sh the shearing sheep, Landon, Landon's quests were bugged for me. I, he kept saying, go shear the sheep. And I'd try and shear the sheep and I wouldn't have shears. And I abandoned the quest and picked it up again and nothing helped. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of a pain. And then they, uh, the little guy that was giving out quests was like, oh, come back every day and do this. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll go spend the night and pay the star coins. And they wouldn't let me. So, I don't know. I had to wait till another day to do it. It's kind of annoying. But I got my teddy bear. I just really wish I could get the reins. Yeah, so what I was saying about the um, Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you for watching it. And if you haven't check it out it's uh, a great game it was originally on xbox and ps2 i think i think i played it on xbox and uh it's an rpg you create your character and it was one of the first games where you get to pick whether you want to be evil or good depending on your choices of when interacting with characters Anyway, that's fun. I'm also working on... Ooh! I started building a hotel for my Sims in The Sims 3. So I can do a Sims 3 hotel challenge. 
building a hotel has proved to be a very massive undertaking <laughs> and I am not a very good architect. So we'll see where that goes. That fjord looks lovely in red. We'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully it will be done soon enough so I could start doing a series with it, but I'm excited. I think, I think it will be fun. <laughs> so let's see what Derek has for us. What's up, Derek? All the letters blew away. All the Valentine letters, Derek. Come on. All right, let's look in Silverglade Village. Oh, it's not lit up. I guess it's not orange. We'll just look for sparklies. Sparklies. Also, if I haven't mentioned, um, I made a... Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you. I made a Facebook page for Cadence for, like, Star Stable stuff. Um... So if you guys want to check it out, I've put the link in the information below. And I'd love for you guys to comment and share your stories and share your pictures and stuff. You should be able to post um, on the page as well. I mean, it's not a group. It won't be on the, the main thing, but your posts will be on the side. And I'll be happy to share them and comment and stuff. I do love that Star Stable has been showing off people's artwork on their Facebook page. I think that's a lot of fun. There are some crazy talented artists out there, I must say. I know, go forward now, go forward. Yeah, so I think you can even see now, the frame rate is really bad with the game. It's very jerky. And it's been like that a lot lately. You'll remember one of my videos I talked about how the lag was so bad I couldn't I couldn't move I just stopped. I don't want to go in the building. I want to get this. There we go. Oh, there's also three new horses. And I would love to show them to you. They're very far away, so we'll see if I have time today. Well, one of them is very far away, I should say. Um, but they're all really cool. I like them a lot. There's one. Oop, there's another one. Whoa. That's a very nice horse. Um, I also saw a all an all brown and illusion. And it was beautiful and I fell in love and I changed my mind for the hundredth time about which horses I would like to get as it as it happens <laughs> eight do we have one behind Big Bonnie's house Big Bonnie negative That's a really weird totem tree. Oop! Did you? I was leaning. I leaned. Great. Yes! I see the last one. I'm 
still really bummed about Catherine's Quest. I really wanted those reins. I am think I'm going to have to figure out how to... It's really weird because in the Star Stable news, on the on their news page, they talked about how in order to do Donald's Quest, you needed to do these other ones first. But they didn't mention anything like that with Catherine. So, that made me sad. Oh my gosh, okay. A letter to the Baroness. She got a love letter. A letter to Mrs. Holdsworth. Here's a letter that needs to be delivered to Marley, the guy who has the barrel racing course outside Silver Glade Village. The barrel racing course. Huh. All right, well, we'll go there first. Now, I I was going to bring up an issue about uh, gaming etiquette, MMO etiquette, and I'm actually breaking one of those rules right now. And this girl is actually doing it properly, this girl right here. And that is crowding the quest giver. is a huge issue in some games like World of Warcraft when people have massive mounts and they run up and stand on top of the quest giver so no one else can click on them. And that was happening the other day with Donald because I, there were so many people getting quests from him that everyone was standing on top of him and it was really hard to click him. And normally you either stand as far back as you can and still click him or you get off your mount or you dismount and then you kind of walk up so you don't cover him really. And we were all just doing that. I forget sometimes, too. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> After the harvest, I would like to invite you and our little brother, Carney, over for a real family reunion. This year, it will have been 10 years since our father, Ronnie Bob Summers, died. And it would pain him to see how far we've grown from each other. Your loving brother, Barney. Aww. Man, that's adorable. No wonder I've never met him. I do not like barrel quests. Barrel races. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Now we shall go see the Baroness. I'm so bad. Is anybody good at barrel racing? I would love to know. That's that's one where you like have to do this, right? Oh my god. Forget it. <laughs> I can't I can't do that at all. Hey Baroness. Ow. It's been a long time since you and I spun around together on the dance floor. What we'll be doing this weekend. It must have been 40. That's not how you spell 40. Or 50 years, unless I have it wrong. And now it is time for a change. We should show these youngsters what real disco dancing looks like. You and me, just like old times. The King of Fort Pinta and the Baroness of Silverglade. Afterwards, might I have the honor of escorting you home? Your old friend, Jasper. That was adorable. I have my reputation. Your reputation would skyrocket if you headed to the disco. I heard it's the happening place to be. Incognito? You're crazy. You're crazy, Baroness. Oh, now we have to go to Moreland, so... I utilize this call for pickup far more than I probably should, but I love it. It's another one of those things I probably never would have figured out if it hadn't been for you guys. Hello. Hello. Mrs. Holdsworth, since we were small children, I have admired you from afar. I have never tried to contact you even though we have lived so close to one another all these years. 
You took a job in Moorland while I took a job on the council here in Silverglade. So close together, yet so far away. Oh, she looks like a Barbie doll. Um, I stopped reading. Silverglade's councilman. My little dandelion. It's probably time to give Gilbert a chance after all these years. He was frightfully impatient when he was younger, but that was a long time ago. Now he's grown up and gotten a good job and nice hairstyle. <laughs> good job and nice hairstyle. That's what's important, ladies. Wait a minute while I write an answer. Oh, they're going to go out for coffee. That would be nice. How nice. No stamps. Typical. No one's gonna have stamps. You watch. He is a little nosy. Look what has come for you. A mysterious package. I got to sorting the mail and bent over to get a letter I dropped out from under the desk. When I stood up, there was a package on the desk. I have no idea who left it, but it is for you. Hello, secret mail. Let's see. Let me look at what it says on the note. Two cadence from a secret admirer. Ooh, that is all it says. So mysterious. I wonder what's in the package. Wait, did I get a present? Do I have to wait till tomorrow? I have to wait till tomorrow to get my present? What did I get? Is this it? Oh, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. I guess I was stuck on someone. I don't know. Oh my God! There's so many people here. Let's move this way. This way. Look at all the horses that look like mine. I love that kind. Oh. So. Boom. Oh, it's a lovely red dress. I'm putting it on. Fancy. That doesn't really match now. Bummer. I'll put the little red guy in the thing. People walk through me all the time. Matches my dress. I'm a hot mess again. Anyway. So shout out to Marie Capaw, who I just happened to be passing. And knew she knew who I was. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here I am in front of Catherine, and as you can see, there are no quests. So, okay guys, thanks for joining me for a short Valentine's Let's Play. Hopefully I can figure out what I need to do to be able to do Catherine's quests. We'll find out, and I hope to see you this weekend at the disco meetup. Yeah! Talk to you again soon. Bye!